Beans in the foothills. Let's head south to my partner in crime, Paul's old stomping grounds, Desert View. On the south side, the Jaguars were coming off a bye week as they hope to snatch their first victory of the season, hosting a Flowing Wells team that was 1-2 and two coming in. Desert View playing their home games at Tucson High right now, and no hiding that Jaguar pride. And I parks at quarterback. He's going to hand it off to Sean Sierra. And Sierra powers it in from five yards out for the score. Much to the delight of those ladies from the DV. Flowing Wells quarterback, Adrian Soto. He's just a 10th grader. A short completion to Angel Perez. And then as Desert View is heading in for yet another score. Check out the defense here from Jerry Ortiz. He is going to knock this ball away from Rodolfo Rodriguez. The Jaguars, though, did most of the knocking after that as Desert View wins it 28 to 14. Hey, we are far from over with after the break. We continue our in-depth coverage of high school football right here in the old Pueblo. That's right, Paul. Tombstone made a trip from Cochise County to take on Catalina High School. Plus, there was a lot at stake at Amphi. And they played Pueblo tonight. Apart from it being homecoming, an all-time Amphi running back great has passed away. And by legend, John Volpe gives an emotional dedication to his brother-in-law, Andre Haymore. We'll have more coming up after the break.